tired of resting that clunky old scanner just to digitize a document? What if I told you you could stop fighting the hardware? Because the free Google Drive app on your phone already does it all and makes your life a whole lot easier. Seriously, the Google Drive app on your Android phone or iPhone has an incredibly powerful yet surprisingly unknown scanning feature that makes your old scanner completely redundant. It seamlessly digitalizes your documents automatically save them securely to your Google account so they're available everywhere. Plus, with Gemini AI built in, your scan files are not just clear, they're intelligent, searchable and summarizable. So stop wasting your time with outdated hardware. In this video, I'll walk you through scanning Nirvana with your phone, proving you don't need a separate machine to digitalize your life. Let's get cracking. For this demo, I'm going to be using my Pixel 8 Pro. You're going to see on screen what I'm doing and I'm going to talk you through. So here we are looking at home screen on my phone. You see, I've got two apps. I just want to show you something first. If you go to the Play Store and search for a document uh, signing app, there's a load here, but most of them are unrecognized by names you don't know. Uh, Adobe's there, which is fine. You've got Microsoft, but then you've got all these apps that are just completely and utterly random companies that seem to be using clip art for their icon. I'd recommend not using any of those simply because you have no idea what that company is going to be doing with your scan once you've scanned it in. Are they going to be uploading it to a server somewhere? Are they going to be keeping hold of it? Are they going to be using it to train AI? So hence the reason, only use the, the best ones, only use the ones that you recognize. And Google Drive, quite frankly, is probably the best one there. You've all most likely got a Google account, so it's all integrated already. Um, and it's Google, a company you can trust. So here we go. I'm going to now show you how to scan a document using the Google Drive app. So here we go. We're going to open the Google Drive app. Tap on the icon. Google Drive will open straight away. And in the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice there is a camera icon. That is the scan icon because it's so popular. Google has stuck that icon right on the home screen of the app so you can get to it really quickly. So just tap on that and your camera screen will open. Now I've got this invoice here from a, a fictitious hotel. I actually made this invoice using Gemini as a prop for this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan that and show you how it's done. So let's get that in a neat pile. So what you've got to do is hold your phone above it. It will automatically detect the page as you saw when it put the blue line around it. And it's taking a scan of that straight away. You'll notice if you've got Gemini, that the Gemini has activated and it's made the image a lot clearer than it was. This is without Gemini. If I tap the Gemini blue icon in the top right corner there, it puts Gemini onto it. Now I've got three pages here, so I want to scan the next page. So let me just get this uh, moved around and we will scan next page. So to scan the next page, you'll see down the bottom you've got these icons. All you need to do is press the plus button, to scan the next page, hold it above, it will automatically detect the page and crop it. It doesn't actually matter if the page isn't quite uh, straight on, it can be askew and it will, uh, without a problem, it will detect that and it will just make it nice and straight on your scan. So we'll just do the last page just so you can see how it's done. So press that button again, hold it over. Oh, that's handy, you should do that. And uh, there we go. So we've now got a three page document scanned. I can quickly scroll through that to see what we've got. In the bottom left hand corner, we've got some controls along the bottom. First one is crop and rotate. So if the scan was a bit weird for some reason, I can move these blue dots around and just line them up with the corner of the page and get it to uh, adjust the um, cropping off the page uh, you've got automatic crop well that will automatically find the edges uh, no crop and rotate i don't know why you'd want to use no crop because if i use no crop then it's not just scanning the paper it's actually scanning the desk that i was on as well which is going to kind of make it look a bit odd so i'm going to flip back to auto crop there and of course you can rotate it if you um if for some reason it had vertical landscape rather than vertical and portrait just hit apply when you're happy with that so it'll make the changes you've then got a filter here and with the filter you've got an option i've got the auto filter on which is gemini but you can also flick it to color grayscale black and white and shadows now shadows is kind of handy i haven't got it on this example but if i was taking the scan under a different type of lighting condition and maybe the shadow of my phone was on the piece of paper i could hit the shadow button and it would remove that from the scan so that's super super handy if you've got weird lighting conditions and the it, you just can't get the right you know image to appear use the shadow button to remove it moving on we've now got clean clean is essentially if you've got a mark on the document that you don't want to be there maybe you spilt a bit of coffee on it or something along those lines it will remove it but to use the clean function all you've got to do is zoom in and then you use your finger just to wipe over and essentially rub out whatever the problem was off the document and then it will remove it from the document I don't think it actually removed that. I think that popped back up, didn't it? When I was just uh, away, let's try that one more time. Maybe that's because it's part of the document. What we should do is I should do a test here and I'm going to draw something on a piece of paper on here and see if it just removes the drawing rather than the part of the document. That'd be quite cool to find out. A few moments later. So here we are back again. You can see I've added a lot of smiley face to this document now. Let's see how it removes it. So there's the, uh, the smiley face on that page. So let's go to clean. Let's scroll in and let's just 
remove this. Let's just rub it all out and see what it actually removes. So I'm going to rub that out there and uh, apply and let's see if it can remove that smiley face. There you go. That is actually amazing. I didn't know it did that. So you will re remove the, th the imperfect, uh, the thing that shouldn't be on the document um, while keeping the document whole how it should be. That's really cool. Didn't know it did it. So once you've done that, hit apply and now you've got a clean document as well. Um, of course, next to it, you've got the retake button. If you want to retake any of the scans you've got, you just pick the scan and you hit retake and take it again. You probably should do what's on screen because I think you're probably enjoying this video at the moment. And then finally, you've got the delete. So if you've done a duplication or you've got something that you don't want on your scan you can uh, delete it and I think you can actually reorganize them by clicking and dragging so yeah I can reorganize them so I can move that to the front and then I can delete that one and there you go you've got your pdf and your scan done all you need to do now is hit done give it a name now this is the one thing that I don't really like about this app the file name the file name is always scanned with the date and the time you took it and because Gemini is built in and it runs locally on some Android phones like the one I've got I really think that Google should add Gemini here so it gives the file a file name because you can see that this was a invoice from the Grand London Londoner Hotel which doesn't exist it was made by Gemini this invoice um, it could just put the name in and then I wouldn't have to type a name in each time but um, you can always type in uh, the name if you want to or you can just leave it as is totally up to you so there we've got the name next option you can do is you can either pick it as a PDF or a JPEG um, if you do it as a JPEG it will be three images it will get saved as so each scan will then be its own image in your google drive kind of pointless in my opinion pdf is the useful one like that's the one you're going to share and send with people it also means it's machine readable in that the a computer can read this invoice so if you were sending it to a finance system it could read this invoice and do the auto reconciling and all that kind of stuff finally just pick where you want it to be saved by default it will just go into your my drive but you may want to put it into a certain uh, folder that you've got so for example here travel expenses hit select when you're happy hit upload that file is now getting uploaded to google drive once the file's in google drive there are certain things you can do to it you can annotate it through the app but there's a lot more that you can do on the desktop so i'm just going to show you how to do this on the app and then in the desktop i'm going to show you how you can use gemini to really do some kind of cool stuff with this uh, document so let's open the file here we go we've got the pdf that we've just scanned what you can do here is you can leave comments on it just like you do with a, a google doc you can leave a comment here so whoever you share it with will see the comment as well so if you need to explain why you've been using uh, some movie channels in the hotel, you can explain it there for them. Uh, otherwise, the options you have here are simple annotations by tapping the blue button in the bottom right hand corner. So, of course, you can just draw a circle and things like that. And you can also use the highlighter to highlight bits of the uh, document that you want to. Once you're happy with that, just hit save. That will be updated. Your PDF will be updated. And of course, anyone who's got access to this will also see the annotations you've made on the document. So now let's head over to the desktop version of Google Drive and you can see what you can do there. So here we are, we're now on the Google Drive desktop version. You can see there's the uh, PDF of the invoice. A couple of options I can do here. I can right click on any file in Google Drive and just get a summary of the folder, of the file even. It can do it as folders too, uh, but of the file. And you'll see on the right hand side, Gemini has come back with a quick summary of the file and its contents. So handy, and that means you don't have to go into the file, especially if you've got lots of files. You can just right click, get a summarize, summarization of it. Gemini will also suggest some other suggestions that you may want to do with this file. Other things you can do, like the VAT rate that's been applied. It'll just come back with the answers for you. Um, if you open the file, again, you have access to Gemini on the right-hand side too. Um, you can put your own prompt in here, or you can just go with the ones that uh, Gemini is suggesting, uh, such as extracting information. So if I click on extract information from here, there you go. It's extracted the information from that PDF, and I can actually export this to a Google Sheet. All I have to do is click on that, and this table will be exported into a Google Sheet which you can there share with people, which has saved so much time, because just imagine having to copy this PDF into a spreadsheet manually the old way. That would have taken absolutely forever. So things like that you can do now really easily all through the Google Drive app. And your old scanner can't do any of this stuff, just cannot do it. You might be able to scan the document, but you then got to upload it to Google Drive. First off, you've got to get the scanner to work. And we know how much of a pain in the ass scanners are. Uh, like the cousin of printers terrible devices and they will cause you problems so this is so much easier and so much quicker to do what you need to do with the document that you received that you need to put onto your computer save it and share it to other people i'm james founder of kimberly it and we specialize in it support for small to mid-sized businesses who use google workspace so we know everything about google and we help so many businesses that use Google Workspace get the most out of those tools, such as what you've just seen in this video. So if you do like what you've seen, subscribe. You can always unsubscribe if the content's no good, but we're constantly putting videos out like this. And if you do want to have a video call with me, there's a link down in the description that you can click on and book a 30 minute free video call with me. And we can see if our two businesses can work together and if we can help you out.